Okay. Um, I would say that weight loss was used to be what used to control my diabetes, but at the stage I, when I decided to work with you, um, my diabetes was spiraling out of control. I've got the weight loss already through Slimming World, and um, I knew I had to do something because it weight loss wasn't going to do it anymore now, and I just knew what I was doing wrong. Yeah. Um, whether I needed to eat differently or exercise more, <laughs> lose more weight. Um, so knowing that you had this course and knowing other people have had it with you, um, I was interested to find out you know, what I could do to reduce my HbA1c levels. That's ultimately what I want. Well, as I was say, I mean, I've been PTing with you for over a year, so I, I know you and I know that you uh, would it motivate me and encourage me that's what I need. I need someone to tell me what to do because doing it alone on my own wasn't working. L losing the weight of Slimming World did, did some part of it, yes, but it didn't help my um, HbA1c and sugar levels. And as you say, um, I had one, a re I had a result in December and it was, it was the highest of being for ages. To you. <laughs> I wouldn't call it frustrating, but it's having to measure everything again. I found that not difficult, but I've gotten out of the habit of measuring things that everything is done by eye and understanding when you did the uh, recipes for me and, and the menu for me, weighing it was, was um, a, an issue at the beginning, but now it's just um, common to do that. But also I didn't realize um, I was, I was under eating on protein. I, I, I couldn't, I'll say that's a heck of a lot of protein to be eating, which I wouldn't naturally have yeah. Um So knowing about protein and knowing oils as well, oils and fats, you know, because I've always been from Slimming World, you know, low fat this and um, uh, zero uh, fat yogurts and things like this. Um, I, and butter, you know, I was on those... Um, spread type thing that didn't have it which yeah, margarine margarine which i realize now is not as good for you and i and i enjoy butter but i used to deprive myself of butter yeah. and i do like all the oil as well i used to i used to like cook with olive oil but before um you introduced it into my diet and more so i was just using that light spray olive oil so it was barely um doing the pan, you know, uh, covering it. So, yeah, and I'm, I'm enjoying it more because I thought I could never eat fats. You know, fats were just a, a bad no-no for so long. And having full fat milk again, you know, because I've, I've been on skin milk for a long time, and then eventually went to semi-skin milk, uh, and now having full fat milk, um, cooking and things, it, it's great. Yeah, December. Well, when I got my HbA1c results in December, I, they were bad. Uh, they were the highest, as I think I said earlier, than they'd been for a long time. And the diabetic nurse was wanting to increase my tablets, one of my tablets, which is the glycoside. And I was really against that. I didn't want any more increases in tablets or anything else. And she basically said, well, there's not much more we can do. Um, and I said, well, let me think about this and um, obviously I spoke to you in January and that's all decided I decided to go, go on this course with you yeah. to see if I can bring this down and funnily enough as I say within a week or two of doing doing your um, um, menu or whatever with, it, with, with the protein and the fats and everything I was having hypos because the glycoside um, was tipping me over and um, um, so I think I, I, I put up with it for about a week and then spoke to the GP who actually said to me, stop taking that tablet. And that was the tablet she wanted to increase, which is great. And he, and he was really, really appreciative and not appreciative, but he was really pleased that I decided to do something about my diet. And I said, I was going on a, a low carb diet, um, high protein, low carb diet. I didn't explain I was doing it with you. I was just saying I decided I was going to do this. And he, and he was so pleased. He said he wished a lot more people would do that. And by taking me off that 
uh, glycoside, and I've not had any hypo since. But I've, t- I've test myself every day anyway. Oh, not every day now, but I did, and uh, my blood sugar levels have gone down from from what as it was. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'm more motivated now to eat um, more, not healthier, but I know what I, what things I should be eating, what things I shouldn't be eating, and it's um, obviously all the sugary stuff. I mean, that hiccup in the middle you were talking about is when I sort of regressed a bit and was having biscuits and just the odd biscuit now and then, and then um, things I know I shouldn't really be eating, but. <laughs> I think I missed it. And I, I thought, oh, I'm doing so well. I'll have a biscuit or I'll have a cake or whatever it was. Um, I know that it, that can't be sustained completely, but I know um, I'm not not strong enough, but I'm motivated enough to keep going at it to get to my goal, which is to reduce my HbA1c levels. I mean, I, I, I'm realistic. I'm not going to reverse it in one go. There's no way I can reverse it in one go because I've still got to live. I've still got to um, do things that I like to do. Um, but um, hopefully when I get my next set, that will motivate me even more because I'm a person that needs targets. I need to go for something. And if you say I, I need to go down to whatever um Five point six or six or whatever that 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 is that'd be a bit much, but it's something to aim for, and hopefully that will I'll carry on doing that when when we're finished. Although um, I appreciate we won't be under the same sort of strict um, controlling that uh, not control strict sort of um, checking up regime, whatever you want to call it, that we would do. So that that it's there to sort of slip by again, but I think. Um, I'll, I'd probably be more motivated to carry on with this. And I've, I've, I've bought some different uh, recipe books, you know, like keto recipe books, because I know that's sort of the way forward, really. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I hated every minute. No, I didn't. I mean, I think what I said is that we've worked together at, on, on PT anyway, so I know I know you, and I know that what you say, and I will do it for you. Yeah, I think yeah. that's if you know. I mean, I, I'm, I know I should be doing it for myself, but sometimes when you have somebody pu- not pushing you but encouraging you and motivating, you want to do it for that person. Whereas when are you doing it for yourself? It's not always um, enough. Yeah. So knowing that I have to not report into you, but because I know I have to have that meeting. And we're going to have that conversation. And I was really disappointed when I had that hiccup in the middle that we talked about. And I said, well, I know what I've done. And I I was disappointed in myself that I'd done it. And I felt bad. So that motivated me again to get back onto it again. Yeah. And that's what a coach is for at the end of the day. I mean, if 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 I left it to myself, I would have probably just gone downhill and downhill. And and, and, I'm just continued on on that drugs yeah yeah exactly um, look, I mean, yeah i mean uh, and my biggest fear is is injection um going on insulin i said i'm never going to go on insulin if i can avoid that but there was no threat of that previously but they were saying that there's only so many tablets that you can take and i and they were increasing increasing and i, I didn't want to increase it anymore you know it's just more drugs as you say 